Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Adobe Illustrator Pads with SolidWorks. So, let's start. First thing you need to do is to open Adobe Illustrator. And when you want to connect it with SolidWorks, you will need to create a pretty small artboard and it should be in millimeters so you can get oriented well. I'll put 100 by 100 here and the color mode and raster effects, you can leave it that way. Okay, so whatever you want to copy to SolidWorks, you need to design it first, whatever, whatever it is. For this, I'm going to use my previous logo for my client that I done. I'm going to open it. copy this. Remember, you need only the outlines. Okay, see it's pretty big. I'm going to reduce the size a bit. And then we should zoom into it and check if everything is okay. Okay, we don't want any open paths. This, this is in color white actually. Uh, we don't want that either. You, you can see this. This is white. It should be only a path, a, only a line, a vector line, like this. Like this. So, what we need to do is like this, select all of this, and select no fill color. Like this. Also, we need to check for this. You can use the, this tool here. It's called Shape Builder to connect these paths like this. Or I think you can use simply the Pathfinder tool like this. Okay, it worked. So whatever you want. You all just need to make this one path. Take some time. This, this, this. Okay. Uh, the second thing, we will need to ungroup this. So, ungroup. Control Shift and G. Any compound paths we need to release them because when we import the SolidWorks this line won't be visible so you need to release the compound path right click release compound path and now you see on the layers panel that these are all lines now separate lines do this for this too release and this one B is left over for this. Okay, so we should end up with this. I'm just going to adjust the artwork so that the lines fit in here. And now what we need to do is go to File and Export. We need to export this. We we'll name it Part. One and this is very important. AutoCAD drawing DWG file. Select this and save. Okay. This is all okay. It doesn't matter what you select here. Okay. And now we need to go to SolidWorks. Go to open. You'll need to select here either DWG selection or all files because if you select uh, the basic, it won't show. So you need to select here the DWG file. This is our part one, open. And now SolidWorks gives you this wizard. You can say and import as a sketch, 2D sketch. And this is what he sees. And 
If we hadn't done the release compound paths, this, these lines, all these lines, wouldn't be visible now. So we've done the job correct. Next, and finish. Solve was importing. We can close this. And voila. Once we are in SOLIDWORKS, uh, we can really do whatever we want with this. For example, we'll select Box Extrude, we'll select this model, wait for it to render, and we can extrude this a bit, only a bit, accept, and there it is. Uh, one important thing is uh, you can now save this as a SOLIDWORKS part. See this? And you can see this. And for example, you can open it in eShot or any other external rendering program. And you can do wonders with it. So that's all for today for me. Good afternoon. And see you later.